Good evening, friends. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Link to the past randomizers tonight. So we're gonna start with our good old standard normal open randomized swords plus enemy rando and pot shuffle. <clears throat> Full boss shuffle turned on so we could see three bosses doubled up because of the refights in G Tower, but we'll see exactly uh, what we gonna be facing here. So let's get it going in three, two, one. Oh, go, 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 go. What are we facing off with first here? Big ol' 20, gee, thanks. Thanks for the, the pocket change to get us going here. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, looks like we got a little mini helm sore out front. We got a big old Cyclops hucking bombs. A Gibdo and a little red whatever. Fucking Jesus Christ, two hearts at a thing. All right, we're gonna lure you up around here so we can get a, a tree pull off this fucking thing. Bombs, bombs for the tree pull. Okay, you know, I can deal with that. I can deal with that just fine. Got some little wiggly doodles there in the well. Alright, Uncle, what you got for us? Piece of candy. Thanks, I guess. Thanks, I guess. Alright, uh, you gonna wiggle... Oh, God, another Gipto. Alright, can you get out of the way, please? Thank you. <laughs> this is please get out. Thank you. And some more bombs. Alright, you know what? That's okay. Uh, will two things do it for a Gipto? I don't remember. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Plenty of bombs! Plenty of bombs for the start. I like that. I like that quite a bit. That means our Kakariko play will be nice and awesome. Another big old 20 in the church. They did not pull enough in the collection plate yesterday, apparently. Whatever. It's not my problem to look out for them. Oh, jeez. Oh, we got a little sparkly doodle there. What are they called or something? We got a Beemos. Just hanging out. Okay. Pretty tepid overworld enemies so far. Okay, fire bar and a bubble, another mini helmosaur. Lots of fire bars, my goodness. Lots of fire bars just everywhere. Oh, and the fire bar in place of the hoarder crab. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It can spin, spin, spin all at once. We got on Lumberjack Ledge today. The flutes. No! Oh no! Well, that could be a problem. Let's see, you got green at desert and then two regular ass crystals otherwise. Shit! The flute on Lumberjack Ledge, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that's just the worst. Probably gonna be going for that, so that's fun, uh, sir. <laughs> sir, please get out of my way. I need to walk through this forest unharmed, please. Thank you. Ugh. Son of a bitch, the flute on Lumberjack Ledge. Of course, of course it would have to be there. Oh, the lamp at Mushroom Spot, huh? Okay. 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 That's fine, I guess. That's okay. A piece of candy there, whatever. Oh boy, oh man, I have, mm. It's pretty rare that flute is not required, but I guess... If Meyer ends up being a pendant, we might not need the flute? So there's always a possibility. There's a possibility that we won't need to do Ega 1. Not that I necessarily expect RNG to be that kind to us, but hey. I've been wrong before. I can be wrong again, if it's to my benefit. Alright, let's see what Kakariko's got for us. A little bit of... Lion's Hut action here. What do we got? The last heart container, okay. Big old 20, alright. Piece of candy, and... Some more busy bangs. Okay. Well, not incredibly exciting. And the mirror! The mirror's nice! That's a nice thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, what about the well? Another five items for us to grab. A sword would be really nice. Some some means with which to destroy things. More bombs. Okay. Great, I guess. Oh, that's right, we got pot shuffle on too. Uh ten arrows, huh? Hmm. Big old 20, alright. Well, there's enough cash. A power glove. Beautiful. And a hammer. Well, we are, uh... One thing away from Dark World access, then. We just need a moon pearl. Big old heart container from Bottle Vendor. Sure, 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 sure. So, hammer's nice. That gives us some, uh, some offensive capability. I'm okay with that. Oh, we got a got a thief in the house. Huh? Hey, fucko! I need all that shit. Get out of here, bastard! <laughs> all right, what's in the back of the KFC? Silver arrows, huh? Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure. What about the back of the bar. What, what did they pull down last night? A big old 20. Not much. It was a very slow night at the bar, I guess. Okay. Okay. Alright, so pretty pretty standard, pretty tame so far. Uh, the only thing that makes me worry is that flute at Lumberjack Cave, of course, but let's see what we got at the library. A uh, big old 50. Don't care about that. Do not care at all about that shit. <clears throat> The race game. More bombs. Also, don't care about that. Okay. Well, we've got some gear. Got a little bit of gear. Oh, I bet they shuffled what was under these too, huh? Maybe. Ah, oh, maybe not. Alarm. Faffing about out front there. What an idiot. Another mini helmosaur. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Fish is having a, a happy time over there. Let's leave him to it. About in the dam. Some more bombs. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, I've got the mirror. Derp. Should be using that. So if we find the bow super early, we can hit Eastern right away. But actually, we mm, we may not need the bow for Eastern. That's right, because of the enemy rando and the boss shuffle and all that shit. So maybe we head for Eastern anyways. All right, well, there's a cool 50. Just wait for us. We'll grab it. We'll grab it. Many more... Wormulon Caves might be a problem depending on the enemies here, so let's see what we got. So we got to contend with uh, Beemos, trying to get a touch. A little taste. Oh, okay, easy peasy. I can deal with this. Even despite the phenomenally awful hitbox of the hammer. Five items just right for the taking. What do we got? Big 20. Piece of candy. Good for a refill. Ten arrows. Another big 20. And some more bombs. Not exactly the treasure trove we were hoping for there. Oof, lots of fire bars. A Lionel is kind of scary. Can't avoid all that shit. Excuse me, sir. And looks like we got some mimics in the water. Quarter crab, what are you guys dropping for me? It's tiny magics. Tiny little magics. Okay. Not terribly useful. Some dark ass octorox. Lots of hoarder crabs, my goodness. Better than the normal ass crabs that do two hearts at a strike. You're on green mail. Alright, not 
incredibly useful there. But the good news is we can do the entirety of escape fairly quickly since we've got the mirror. Then we can head up to Death Mountain. Take care of the entirety of Light Side, considering we've got the mirror and the hammer. So that'll be a nice, fun check of, let's see, five, seven, eight. Plus Spectacle Rock and Old Man, be 11, plus we can see what's on the island, 12. 12 in total. <clears throat> Not a bad group of items to go for super early. Hoping that we find a sword or something. Ooh, fire bar. Nice. Hammer out. Ready to pound this shit right into the ground. Nice. Big old 20, thanks. What a... Kind of worthless. <laughs> Kind of worthless. Ghosts and a skeleton cuckoo. A couple of them, in fact. Rats and another Lionel. My goodness. Excuse me, sir. Tech type. Interesting thing to have guarding this room. What about in here? Another tech type. Okay. <laughs> Ten bombs! Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. We're full up on bombs. We don't need any more bombs. Like, give us a give us a pointy weapon. A sharp pointy weapon, please. And the boots and the, the flippers would be also really nice. And what are we fighting over here? That's a... Uh... Red Dark World Guard. What we got here? The map! Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, well that's front side of escape for you. Time for Dark Cross and the back side of escape then. Those dudes have somewhere to be. Fortunately, it's not in my face. Oh, although we didn't get the key, so we might not be able to do uh, the backside right. Wow, what kind of pattern is that? Might not be able to do the backside right away if we don't get the key in the chest here. Oh, excuse me. Wow. All right. Pardon. Okay, Fifty roots. All right. So we cannot carry on then. But the good news is we can just go right to the backside the way it is. Since we've got the power glove. This old man, this room can be a little bit scary with the density of enemies. Fortunately, not, nothing too dangerous. Big ol' 20, one of these is gonna be the key, and a uh, buck. Okay. Interesting, interesting. We've got ourselves some literacy so we can get into desert. It'll also let us check Ether Tab on our way up the mountain. Or when we get up to the mountain, rather. So let's go do that. Let's go up the mountain and do the entirety of East and West Side Light. Light world. That's nice. That's real nice. I've got a lot of stuff. Let's see. Three plus a tablet check on the west. And then seven plus an island check. Or no, I'm sorry. Eight plus an island check on the east. Side of Death Mountain here. Nothing but the old man to keep us company. Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa, and what appears to be a Lionel, perhaps, down there? Hey, Tormod, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, we got ourselves some turtles and, and what are those? Jellyfish? Squids, perhaps? Alright. 
<laughs> Those red beetles hurt. I think they do too. Oh man. Excuse me. All right. Old man gives us a little, little piece of candy. Excuse me. I need to get in there and well, just immediately die. I suppose. Whatever. It's fine. We'll start right up there with the old man cave, anyways. You old man cave. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Do, 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 do. The cabbages won't give us too much of a run around here. <laughs> Little vulture, though. All right, let's check out Spectacle Rock, both outside and in. Both of which we can get if we so need to. Ow! Birds, please. We got up top. Big ol' heart container. All right, we'll grab that on the way through. What about inside? 50 rupees. Don't really care enough about that to go for it. We will do a quick map check, though, because I want to see if Meyer is going to be a crystal. And that will determine if we go for... Uh, I get him one. Ah, it is! It's a 5 6 -er to boot. Oh boy, oh boy. Swamp, then we got a normal ass crystal there. Red at there, red at that. And not ideal. So, Aga 1 will be required to get that flute off a of lumberjack ledge. Woo hoo. Good old waste of six, six and a half minutes. This RNG decided to be straight up fuck us. Straight up fuck us. But, that's okay. That's okay. That will at least guarantee us some fast travel, so, you know, whatever. Ten shots with your bow. Oh boy! Boy, can we? Ten arrows there, we don't give a shit about it. Alright, let's let's pop into Hera, I guess, while we're here. Should be clearable, depending on what the uh, boss turns out to be. Just a couple hinterinos. Ugh. Make me go downstairs, huh? Could have mirrored out. Eh, fuck it. Too late, we're committed. Up the stairs. Good exercise. This old hint. Shovel requires the hammer. Okay. 50 rupees. All right, downstairs we go. Uh, I do have bombs, so we could turn this into a, a little rest, a little rest and relaxation. We don't. There we go. All right, that should be good. Just have a little sit back, have a little drink. Kick back, relax, enjoy some tunes. See what design the tiles are gonna do for us today. Looks like... This looks like a Galaga ship, a little bit. Or a frowny face. Oh, it's a creeper face! Ha! Funny. That's pretty funny. some magic before we go, just in case. Oh, well, <laughs> that's right, pot shuffle. Could have been the other one. Oh well. Try for the bomb jump across the big chest, but considering our relatively low level of health here, I don't think I want to risk that. <clears throat> that, of course. What do we got here? Some cash requires the hammer? Alright, so we got cash and a shovel requiring the hammer. So that could be Peg Cave. That could be Batman. Hmm, where else could that be? And the compass. Alright, good. What a good waste of time that was. Those are pretty much the only two spots specifically requiring the hammer. 
Oh, nice. Gotta fall at least once. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, are you a green mimic? You are. Good. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a, a couple bosses we could defeat already, and a couple that we can't touch. Elmasaur would be fine. Vitreous is kind of unfortunate to see so early. I do have the hammer, and I do have some bombs, but this is going to be a heck of a fight. To be a little bit careful since I think each of these will do four hearts, considering our green male situation here. Ah, damn it! <laughs> okay, um, hmm. This could be a small problem. So we might give this one more go, and if we get knocked down or killed, um, we might just say fuck it and come back later. So we've got other places to be that don't involve us fighting a fucking pile of eyeballs. Oop. Alright. It's easy now. It's easy now. You don't, don't need to rush. You got plenty of time. Oop. Oh, easy. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to fall down of my own accord here, either. Eh. Oh. Eh. Remember how many fucking pounds this takes. So we're doing tempered sword slash damage, but I still think these dudes are pretty beefy regardless. There's one. We got one down. <laughs> eh. uh, oh. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, I was getting a little excited there. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just gonna be careful of my positioning here. If I get bopped once, I'm dead. And if I fall down, it's a fucking big ass waste of time. Eh. Yeah, Alright, easy. Just bait him out a little bit. It's fine. No rush. Eh? Oh, what? Why is he going so far over there? Alright, well, fuck this guy. That's a Vitreous we don't want to mess around with right now. So let's get the fuck out. We'll come back. Come back when we're better equipped for that shit. <clears throat> Damn it. Some Zoras, we got some crabs. Ow, damn it. Crabs are still very dangerous. We got a heart container up, or not heart container, a piece of candy up on the island, which we probably don't care about too much. We'll grab these and be on our way. Uh, fucking really? Chasing this anti fairy through the entirety of Spiral Cave. Great. And make it even slower than it has to be. What a pile of cash. Alright, that's okay though. We're about to get seven more. Uh, right hand side, because we've got the mirror, we can just go straight in. Eh? Yeah. 20? Eh? Yeah. A hundo, okay. A hundo is more respectable. It's us ever closer to that important Zora cash. Maybe important Zora cash. Got up here. A couple guards that are gonna give me the business unless I turn around and freak the shit out of them. Oh, this is not good. Okay, well, that's a bit of a fucking room. Um. Hmm. That's also a very big pile of items, so we're gonna have to go for it again. But now we know what to expect, so what can I use? What can I use to make that an actually winnable fight? Yeah, 
maybe a bomb to spread them out a bit. And then hammer, or or a bomb to open up the rear so I can uh, so I can go back and maybe funnel them through a place that we can actually hit them with. Ah, I'm gonna have to mirror back up there. <clears throat> doot, doot, doot. If this were just a single item, I wouldn't bother with this, but <clears throat> considering it is five more, kind of worth the risk a little bit. Unless we can somehow... Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Unless we can somehow... Um... Shit, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna go grab another heart. How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna go in with a bomb, perhaps. And we'll hang back in the doorway and see if we can maybe just kind of stealth it out a bit. Be a hell of a move if we can. Oh, that's right, the door fucking shit. Fucking Oh my god, these guys. Oh, we got one of them. That's good. Uh <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do otherwise now though? This dude will not leave me alone. Oh wow. Good bomb drops and a good fucking hammer to eliminate the other one too. Okay. Red potion, okay. Big old 20. Another big old 20. Piece of candy. And some busy bands. Alright, well, a lot of red stuff there. But that does give us to uh sick kid. But we're gonna go check out Eastern. Since that is also a crystal that we could perhaps complete. And it gives us three items. Um, and then there's also Sashashashashrula, which has three items in his back room. So, six items, not bad. Not bad. Kind of lacking in offensive weaponry besides that hammer. Alright, what you got in your back room, old man? Wait. A hook shot. That's good to see. And a piece of candy. Alright. The Shasha Shashrula. Giving us some good shit. Good man. Single dollar. What a what a bro. What about you, sir? A big twenty. All right. Well, we're almost to five hundo. That's good. What about you two? You wanna give me another twenty? A fiver and some arrows. Thanks. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Oh, damn it, that's right. <laughs> the pot shuffle. <clears throat> well, there's our 5 hundo at the very least. items we can pull off of this and hope that there's no like red mimics or red igors or something a big three hundo my goodness all right well that sets us for cash for the remainder of the run so that's good also one of the items in eastern Candy, that's item number two, Gan grants us another heart. 
which is actually well appreciated. Um, sir, you need to get the fuck out of my way. And also, you're doing two hearts of damage. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop, please. There's two hearts. I never get this. I don't know why. Just fuck it up every time. Like I'm just a touch too slow, so I always spawn three instead of two. That's the big old key. Can we get the third item <clears throat> before we have to loop around? That'd be real nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Half magic is in Palace of Darkness. Wow. All right. It's a very direct hint. And a big old 20. All right, well, there's item number three. Not terribly useful, but we got ourselves a lot of cash. What are we facing in here? A bunch of bullshit. Excuse me. Oh, and it's a Lionel. Great. Sir. Ooh. Give me the key. I just want to get the key and get out, please. Stop. <laughs> just stop. Ah! Ugh. Scary. Alright, so just in case this boss is of the pain in the ass variety, we do have a red potion, just in case. What are we facing on the way to? Alright, just a couple mini helmosaurs and a, a bouncy plant thing. What, which will take your shield if you have one, or if you have the red shield, rather. Okay, what about up here, though? This could be a bit out painful. Just need to fucking ah. out of the way. Ah! Oh wait, I don't have a sword to use it. Otherwise, I'd use Quake. Ow! All right. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh! All right. Easy. Easy. Got a couple more pots we can use. Okay. Which one are we facing here? It's a blind. Uh. Okay, this could be... this could be trouble. This could be trouble. Hammer blind with not much health. But we do have a red potion. So we'll kind of... kind of play this by... ouch. By ear a little bit, you know? Hope we don't get zapped or something. Alright, that's enough for my... That's close enough for my sensibilities. Thank you. Ow. Of course. Oh, and then we get zapped. Awesome. Oh, fuck. Alright, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a, a real close one, if we can make it. Okay, there you go. There we go, okay. Now, presuming... Uh, if we don't get bopped here... Cool. Or zapped. Ah, nice! <laughs> Suck shit, blind. And that's good for crystal number one. Foof. <laughs> Well then, that doesn't leave us a whole lot of places we can go now. But, we can go down to desert, and that's good for, uh... That's good for a green pendant. So that's something. And Agana and Desert Ledge and all that good shit. Let's see what we can do. Excuse me, sir. end up making our way over to a potion shop of some description, we'll pick up something. Get a nice old red potion. Help us out on any bosses we might find around. Like, we could probably take on Vitreus and Tower of Hera now, if we go get another red potion or something. That would be safer. For now, we are in the desert, on a horse with no name. Felt good to be out of the rain. <laughs> so dumb. 
Uh, okay, what do we, what she got here? A moon pearl, all right, there's our dark world access. Just a damn old shame we'll have to fight Agawan anyways. But hey, at least we've got the moon pearl. Opens up our possibilities quite significantly. Look at this guy. Psh. Get out of here. Alright, what do we got up on that ledge? A sword! A little stabby weapon for us. Okay. We can deal with that. It's entirely possible we won't be able to get very far <clears throat> in desert. Depending on what's on that torch, but... We'll see what we can pull off here. Desert had the bow, that would be supremely awesome. Oh, no button location, huh? It's the compass! Oh boy! Alright, so are we gonna be locked out of here, I bet? A little bit, unless... Unless some cash is in Mimic Cave. Alright, so we don't give a shit about Mimic Cave. Uh, unless we steal something from the back, which I think I'm going to go do. The fuck is Mimic Cave on this map? There it is. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go steal a key and also grab this sword. Because there's a possibility that we could get both items yet. Uh, before we need to go hit up Lanmo. Alright, that's the key we want. Excuse me, fellas. Grab ourselves a sword before we go any further. Hey, first sorted! 37 minutes. Oh fucking boy. What a bounty RNG has granted. But, now uh, we got a key, let's go see if we can scare up another item or two. Which will be guaranteed to find at least the big key over here. Backtrack way the fuck the far over. Get what's in the big chest and hope that's gonna be the second item. But we'll see. We will see. Oh boy. There's the big key. Uh wait, can I stun? Ah, fuck it. Too late. Ow. Oof. Still do three and crack. Ow! Son of a bitch! Get- oh, don't steal an arrow. I have 30 of those. Thank you. Give it back. <clears throat> hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see ya. <laughs> I'm still salty about the run yesterday. You know, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I was a little angry myself, but... But, I, I ended up playing another couple runs uh, after I stopped stream, and I... I had another full run through well in hand, but then I got super fucked over on the second to last level, and I lost. But we got some more shit to unlock, so look forward to that on, on Monday. Since I think we'll do one more. We'll do one more week. I'm having too much fun with it. Nice convenient button. Alright, so what? Are we gonna get the, the compass? Ten arrows. Alright, bullshit. Uh, okay, let's consider where we need to go now. Uh, I guess Dark World is the place to be. Uh, although we could, we could go... Yeah, alright, so let's go visit Sick Kid once, and then we'll head into Dark World, and then we'll do a bunch of other bullshit here. Let's see what we get. Alright. Alright. 
And the funny thing about the the really good run I had yesterday after stream was that it, it was also an explosive bow run, so... I don't know what it is about that weapon that fucking... It just speaks to me, man. It just speaks to me. It was really doing some good work for us. For me, rather. At the time. Ah, boy. Alright, so do we, do we have the stuff to do egg? We don't. It's unfortunate. Because I really want that flute! Cannot get that flute just yet. Oh, Fiverr from Sick Kid. Good. Gave us his lunch money. What a bro. What a bro looking out for our financial health. I'm like, nah, man. I've already got $854. I don't need your Fiverr. Oh, wait. Uh, I've got. I don't have the mitts, do I? No, hammer. So, around we go. All right, so heading into Dark World, got let's see, actual hammer. Got a fair amount of equipment. We got level one sword, eight hearts. Not ideal necessarily, but oh, excuse me, chicken. Thank you. Or skeleton, skeleton chicken. So not ideal, necessarily, but could be worse. No! Stop! Stop stealing my shit! Asshole, I need all that. Oh, we got another red potion up there, huh? Okay. Not necessarily incredibly useful, so we probably won't go back for it. Uh, oh, but we can do the uh, graveyard ledge, too, while we're up here. Route this in properly, aka route it in at all. Stop! Hurts. Get! <laughs> get! Get on out of here, fucker. Oh good, there's two of them now. Get. Sure. Sure. Sure, sure. Be helpful. Okay. Uh, Thieves Town, unfortunately, is a pendant, but does have four items, so... Eh. Let's go check it out, at least the front side of it. And three in Village of Outcast, and then we can do some... Overworld fetch quest garbo. Won't be so bad since we've got the mirror, but it's still a lot of walking around for possibly not a lot of benefit. So let's see, what have we seen so far? We've seen a Vitreous up at Tower of Hera that we still need to go back and murder, and we've seen a Blind in Eastern that we successfully murdered. So there's still a chance of seeing those. Ooh, some powder. A little bit of safety. I can appreciate that. Oh, and we can do uh, Batman, too. Awesome. Um, so Vitreous and Blind are still in the rotation. We could still see a double of them somewhere. So that's what we're dealing with. Oops. Uh, yeah, that was close enough. Whoopsie! Ouch. I should mirror out and check. Oh, the mitts! Hell yeah! Nice. Alright. 
that improves our ability to check more items. <clears throat> as well as opening up Hookshot Cave and the rest of Dark Side Death Mountain. Some bombs, boo. Alright, let's let's dip a toe into into Thebes here. See what else we can find. And then probably not go any further than the front half. At least we have the hammer, so if we do... We do choose to do back half. We can clean out the entirety of it, since we've got the hammer. Eh, missed them both. A burrito. Which I would love to have a burrito right now, actually. I'm kinda hungry. Kinda hungry right now. A burrito would be rather nice. Excuse me. Oh boy, that is getting, getting a little laggy. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. Ow. Oh, nice. They can't steal shit from you when you're when you're X-formed. That's interesting. I did not know that. that compass. My god, we haven't found any. Gosh dang it, this will be the big key. So we found zero items in the front half because they were all the dungeon items. Well, son of a bitch. Well, that means all four are in the back half, so let's go check it out, I guess. Excuse me. Ugh, too many sprites. Not enough mellow yellows. <laughs> That's right, actually we don't need to go blow up the hole up top. We can just walk back and fight the boss, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. Let's go see what we got for items. We know the boss will have one of them anyways, but... <laughs> oh no, wizard robes in the hellway, excuse me. Ah! <laughs> alright, 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 that's enough of that. You get your anti fairy ass out of here. Get. Just get. Fucking damn big ass bullshit. Ow! Get. 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 Go on. <laughs> Yikes. More and more dangerous. Alright, playing the odds. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, okay. Eh? Ow. Oh, the button's there. Nice. The fire rod requires a green pen. Fuck me! Really? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so... Well, at least we know where the fire rod is. So we're gonna need the boots. So the fire rod is boots locked because we need to get to the torch on desert. Ah, oh, boy. But that's good info to have. That's good info to have. At, le at least we know. It's annoying, but at least we know. Huh. Do this again. the arrow of destiny, so this run is halfway valid. Ow! Fucking... Ah, door camping son of a bitch. I 
Hey, another sword, though. Okay. Okay, sure. Whoopsie. So that does get us through to Ega 1. Will let us get our flute. Well, actually, no, not until... Not until we have the boots, so... Flute and Fire Rod are both boots locked. Damn it. Ugh. Alright, what are we fighting, at least? Oh, it's a Helmosaur. That's not bad. That's not bad. Got the... Material goods to deal with this fucko. Get the fourth item out of here. Ouch. Oh, jeez, look out. Oh, ow. There we go. Easy peasy. One of the easier bosses to see in the enemy Ranto. Okay, fuck you, Helmosaur. What do you got for us? Oh, good, a big 20. Gee, thanks. But whatever. Hey, I'm happy we got that second sword out of there. That's That probably makes the trip entirely worth it. Okay. Well, since we've got a lot of shit on the way here, do a bunch of our overworld fetch quest bullshit all in one go. Let's go do that. Maybe one of them will turn up the boots, which will put us in good position. Which will grant us both the fire rod and the flute. Ah, nice. <laughs> the fucking fastest digging game ever on the first go. Thanks. Thanks for that. So what was it? It was some cash, and I think was it half magic that required the hammer? So we might be getting half magic here soon. And good old peg cave. First, we'll turn in the blacksmith, and possibly do Batman. What you got for me? Ten arrows. Thanks for nothing, fuckos. Ugh. Three Honda. Okay, we really have enough cash. Thank you. We do not need any more cash. 1,090 rupees is plenty and good, thanks. Alright, so we're gonna grab purple chest with the peg cave. We'll hit... Uh, we'll hit... Uh, whatever it is, Cave 43 or whatever, Cave South of uh, Grove on our way through. Excuse me, sir. And old Stumpy. Oh, I think that was the shovel that required a hammer, right? Oh, it's fine. Let's <laughs> wait outside. Ah, it's just bombs. Boo! It's working hard to make those hairs just hit them on a priest. It took them that long, and it took two of them to make ten arrows. I gotta say, their efficiency is not as good as it could be. And also, why can't they make me a better sword like they did in vanilla game? Please. I think, I'd, I think I've earned that. Ah. 
watching. Why is there a turtle under the goddamn? Hey! Stop it. I need those bombs. Is there a turtle under the bush here? Fuck off. Alright, Stumpy. What's up? Ten arrows. Thanks. Thanks, guy. <laughs> she thanks. Boy. Hey, stop. Fucking. <laughs> get out of here. No. Let's get. Ugh. Oh, and baby's first shield. All right, you know what? We'll take it. A little protection on the journey. We can do hype cave right away too, right? That's just over here. A lot of shit done. Oh, maybe no. Nah, maybe we'll hit we'll hit Hype Cave on the way back, <clears throat> and then we can go check Pyramid and Catfish and Mirror out to do uh, the Zora checks and shit like that. Excuse me, sir. Although I'd probably rather fake Flipper. Come to think of it, so we can get um, uh, waterfall, waterfall chests. Another big three hundo. Oh my goodness. You were back at the grind this past week. Yep, yep, yep. I resumed on the Wednesday. On the second, you know, I could use a lot more vacation. I think we all could, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Get back to work. Back to work. You know. Okay. Well, now we can actually get this motherfucker since we got the master sword and all. What do we get? A piece of candy. Unless that's good for a full. It's not really that great. Okay. Okay. Well. That uh, was kind of silly. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> there we go. Okie dokie. So, Hype Cave, or not Hype Cave, depending on how we want to look at it. We could... Oh, we don't have flippers, otherwise we could do Swamp. Zzz. We'll do Hype Cave, and then we'll probably do Fake Flipper and do all the other bullshit along the South Shore here. Come on, crossing fingers for useful garbage. Useful garbage. Bombs are actually useful garbage. Fiverr, big old 20, another 3 hundo, my goodness, and a piece of candy. Well, that Hype Cave sucked. That was a really shitty hype cave, in fact. Okay, uh, oh boy. See, now I'm conflicted. I want to do fake flippers for, uh, for waterfall, but I should probably just stay in logic as much as I can. Lest I screw myself over earlier than is necessary. Let's just do pyramid catfish and, um, and uh, Zora. Since we've got plenty of cash now, we gained like 900 bucks in the past five minutes. Excuse me, sir. Uh, ooh, ether on the pyramid, huh? May or may not be useful. Doesn't get us into ice, even though we don't have flippers, so we technically can't get to ice yet either. But hey. Just a, a two and three chance of being able to get into both Meyer and T Rock. That is a gold ass looking Igor. Very. Resplendent in his finery. It's gold plated body, I suppose. Oop, excuse me. Sir. Mm -hmm. 
How about some boots, my good Sir Catfish? How about some boots? Boots or the ice rod? Eh, full heart container's not bad either. I'll, uh, I'll give you that one. Um, is there a place nearby I can do fake flippering, I wonder? Uh, doesn't appear so. Well, alright. Zora it is, then. Eh, fucker. Uh, here with that deep water bullshit. Get another 300. I think we have all the 300s. Oh, okay, so nothing but a shield. On Zora Ledge, which is fine. We don't necessarily need that. Ouch. Where's that guy going? It's moonwalking. Oop, excuse me. Moonwalk into somewhere. Oh my god. So much going on. So many pillars with rotating eyeballs. Oopsie. So today, we are paying $500 reduce for... For... A piece of candy. Alright, well maybe that'll be the last one to get us a nice fill up. Nope. Well, that doesn't give us a lot of options. Uh, we can go up to Dark Side Death Mountain, so let's go do that, I guess. We could also give another crack to uh, Vitreous while we're on our way up. That would probably be a... Let's see, excuse me. Uh, that would probably be a, a good play. Jeez, these cabbages, please. That'd be a good play, I think, now that we are... Better outfitted, even though we don't have, like, a backup potion or something. Um, but I think it would be a good idea to at least try. And if we die again, whatever, it doesn't matter. But that would score us one more item. If we succeed. If we succeed in murdering the pile of eyeballs and the big eyeball that begat all of them, presumably. I wonder how Vitreous reproduces, come to think of it. It's just like, just kind of splits in half, forms another eyeball. All right, let's go. I, th I think this time we will, uh, we'll leave the orange switch down. So that we get some extra, some extra hearts just in case we need them. Um, can I get around? I can. <laughs> Eat shit. I know I could go around on the right there. Here's worth a try. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, really, the only thing- oopsie. The only thing that we don't- ah, shit. That we don't know where it is to- to fight Trinex now is the Ice Rod. Which, surprise, surprise, that usually is the one we're always looking for near the end. So the Ice Rod is just a pile of ass that can be almost literally anywhere. But there's also a chance we won't need to worry about Trinex. So, RNG giveth and RNG taketh away, you know? Okay, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think I'll do spins instead of the hammer, because the hammer hitbox is just fucking tr Um, why did I lose my thing? Mm, that's dangerous, just doing it on its own there. Because we get two hits. Two hits of tempered slash damage. If we time it correctly. Get a lot more of them. Nice, okay. Ow. Ooh, boy. Okay, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful about this. We can still do it. It's not a problem. We just gotta be careful. Okay. <laughs> okay, alright. 
Now, this is gonna be more of the trick, though, the big-ass eyeball. Even with our spin hitbox. Oh, I don't think we want to actually go up there, because that might... Oh, man, that's probably a bad idea. Okay, let's try to keep him above. Keep him above and away. Also not in our face, thank you. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oof. It's clenching a little bit at the end because he could have just murdered us wholesale. But there's Crystal 2. It's the final item. And there's one of the vitrii out of the pool. So there's one blind, one Helmosaur, and one Vitreus. All murdered by my hand. Check what we need to get into T Rock as well. Two out of three chance, we've already got it. Between our Quack and our Easter medallions there. Boy, howdy, I sure could use blue mail. <laughs> Even with 10 hearts, this is still a real risky proposition, considering the enemy placement sometimes. Hey, there's our booties! And a sword! Alright! Everything's coming up Millhouse! Fuck yeah! Alright. There we go. Fucking great. That, that gives us a whole world of opportunity now. Let's go check what we got over here. Eh? Quick. A bit of a quack. Vanilla quack for T-Rock. All right. Let's see. That check. <laughs> Good chess can make all the difference in the world. That's right. That's exactly right. When you're right, you're right. And you are right. Big ol' heart container. Nice. Okay. 50 roots that we don't necessarily care about. Ice Rod! Hey! Alright! Nice! And a big old 20. Okay! Not bad. Not bad at all. Dark Side Death Mountain. The fucking place to be. So now, let's go... Let's see. We have Fire Rod and Flute that we can get. So let's go take care of Fire Rod. Just require us murdering whatever is in Desert Palace. Which will be much easier now that we got Tempered Sword. <laughs> and then we can go work on murdering Ego 1 to get uh, the flute. Which grant us fast travel. Generally make this less of a pain in the ass. had kept going with the song. That's a good song. I like the town theme for Zelda 2. It's very upbeat and happy. Even though the game itself really isn't that upbeat and happy. <clears throat> Alright, let's go murder whatever is uh, the boss of desert here. 
It really could be almost anything, and we'd have the gear to take care of it. Except Trinex. Except Trinex, but I believe we could kill everything else. So we're we're gonna take a bit of a a bit of a gamble that it's not a Trinex. But even if it is. Oh no, it can't be Trinex because uh uh, because this locks fire rod. Okay, so we're, we're guaranteed to be able to kill this motherfucker, whatever it is. Piece of shit, come on. Come on, I'm fight, you coward. Good guess. One and four, and we nailed it. Alright, what do we got here, though? Da! Ah, couldn't make it two for two. Right. Ow. Ow. Eh. Eh. Ow. Vanilla key place? What the hell? Hot shuffle, please. Why you no do job? What are we fighting? It's a cold stare. We cannot fight cold stare. Because we do not have bombos. Shit. <laughs> okay, so fire rod is bombos locked. What the fuck? What the fizzity fuck is this? <sighs> Dang it. I forgot. I forgot Cold Stare was in the pool as well. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, so Cold Stare and Trinex we can't murder yet. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Of course. Of course. Of fucking course. Now if this is Bombos here, I'm gonna be kinda pissed. Although also happy because then we can go get fire rod. Ah, shit! <laughs> oh, come on, man. RNG, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, while we're up here, take care of King's Tomb. Out! God damn it. God damn it. Hey, blue mail! That's good. That's real nice, right there. We can deal with that. Alright, fine. Let's go do it now. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe that. Fucking calling out the items. But hey, that's okay, that's okay. That, that gets us somewhere, you know? Allows us to progress. Excuse sir. And also makes this fight a little bit safer, too. So the blue mail and shit. Yet again, I suppose it might have been faster to do Aga one first, grab the flute, and then go in the back door. Heh, <laughs> giggity. Oh well, too late, we're committed. So now, probably as soon as we find the bow, we should be in go mode, I think. Oh, and Samaria, actually. The bow and Samaria is pretty much all we need to grab now. And the now and the flippers. Never mind. The bow, cane of Samaria, and flippers. The three items we don't know where they are just yet. And there's not a whole lot of places we can go check for them either. So we are rapidly approaching linearity.
But once we get Fire Rod, uh, we can go... Well, we can go to Skull Woods, I suppose. It's only two items, but it's a place. We could dip into Pod. But without the bow, we can't get into the final third of it. Without the flippers, we technically can't get into Ice Palace. Or Swamp. Um, and without Samaria, we are locked out of... T-Rock. And without the flute, which we'll be getting shortly, we're, we're locked out of, um... Out of Mire. Alright, Cold Stare, you piece of shit. Round two. Or one and a half, whatever. Eat Bombos in your face. These dudes will still do three hearts to me if I bump into them. Luckily, fucking Tempered Sword just murders them. So eat shit, give me my second item. It's a green bottle. Okay. And the green pendant. Which gets us the fire rod from Sashashashushushula. And then we can go fight Aka 1. And get us our flute. And then we've got some places to go. Give me my fire rod, you piece of shit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fortunately, Skull Woods is a pendant, so that kind of sucks, but hey. At least full clear it if we need to. Alright, so now, for this wonderful six-minute adventure, Get her gosh dang flute. Ugh. Gotta go fast. That's right. Sonic, I mean, he's gotta go fast. He's just gotta. Excuse me. Ugh. Fucking Ego 1C. I swear, if flippers. Let's see. What could be on MSP? Could Flippers or Samaria be on MSP? Uh, we can do Skull Woods, and what's the other pendant? Oh, we've already got two of the pendants. Okay, so anything could be on MSP, really. That sucks. So one of our three required items yet could be on pedestal. Which, oh well, maybe that's not so bad, since we're gonna be going to Skull Woods anyways, and that's the last pendant. We'll be right in the area. So we can at least check it, if not grab it. So I guess having this be a pedestal seat as well. Oops, sorry, Jake. Uh, isn't that bad? Isn't that bad? Normally it would be the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> Sir, excuse. The fact that he has to and not just wants to, so he's maybe when he was under some sort of query. <laughs> The first <laughs> that is true. That's a good question. I mean, Sonic's gotta go fast. What is he running from, do you think? Is he running from his past? Because I've got bad news for him, if so, like, you can't run from your past. It'll always catch up. Like, it's always, like, right behind you. Don't, like, don't turn around. Don't look at it. We'll catch up to you, man. What, what is he running from? What do you think is so shitty? that happened in his past, that he'd be running from it. Hmm. Should we write a bit of Sonic fanfic while we're here? While we're, uh, 
kind of working this out a little bit. Uh, how do we kill this fucker? There we go. Is this gonna be a hint, actually? Our container is held with the fishes. Uh, oh, those are the, the, the catfish. Alright. Hmm, I think something real bad happened in Sonic's past. That he's always running fast to try to get away from it. I feel like he learned something that he wishes he could forget. But what could what would be a real bad thing? Like he would like absolutely want to forget about them. Huh. I can think of a number of things actually, but I don't really want to talk about them. <laughs> I can think of a lot of things that you would absolutely 100% want to forget. But maybe we shouldn't go that far. We're almost to Ega One. Let's see. In all of our talk about Sonic's past, we are already to Ega One. So there we go. We we did it. <laughs> All right, you fuck. Let's go. Don't you blue ball me. Three. Impressive. Impressive. Ah, one blue ball. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Could this be a fairly quick two cycle? Oh, two blue balls! Ha ha ha. Three blue balls! Ha ha ha. <laughs> Damn it. No. Nope. Dirty ass three cycle for us. Alright. Fuck you, Ega One. Piece of shit. Ching. <sighs> Alright, uh, do we... Nah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Mirror out first, and then save it quick. Oh, this is gonna be a counterpart roll for the next Total Recall reboot. Oh, man. I kind of like the Total Recall reboot, to be honest with you. I thought it was kind of okay. I'm not a big fan of Colin Farrell in general, but I felt the movie itself was okay. Like, it's a dumb action movie, let's be honest, but it's, it's pretty okay. All right, give me my gosh dang flute. Fucking egg of one required ass seed. Ugh. All right, gets us a few more places that also gets us into mire. Yeah, like uh, Colin Farrell. Just, I don't think he's a super good actor, but it's an okay movie. Like, if you just want some dumb action that, like, maybe 30% follows the original Total Recall story, like, I'd recommend it. Absolutely. Where am I going? I'm going down to activate the flute. Like, nobody, nobody goes to Mars. Spoiler alert. There's no Mars, but it's, it's an okay story regardless. All right, please rise for our national anthem. <laughs> okay, 
Well, we're up here. We might as well go check Skull Woods, because I'll, I'll feel a right fool if there's a required item up there. And we just skip over it. But the goose is loose! We've got some fast travel now. Keys for days. Keys for two days, to be precise. And a burrito. Son of a bitch. Buttons on Smash Ultimate. Ooh, Smash Ultimate. Um, I got a chance to play it a couple weeks ago at a buddy's house. Or a buddy's apartment, rather. I liked it. It's gonna take some getting used to. It doesn't have quite the same feel as, say, Melee or something, which I really fucking enjoy. Um, but maybe, if I ever get myself a Switch, that will 100% be a purchase. Even though I'm not like, ah, fuck you, giant grabby hand. <clears throat> Even though I'm not really like a huge competitive player person, I really like the game. It's like the only fighting-ish game that I could actually sort of be okay at. Because there's not, a, it's not like huge lists of complex fucking button input combos and shit. It's just A, B, and direction. That's my fucking jam, right there. I can do that. That's the big ass key, of course. We're gonna go through all the Skull Woods here and not come out with anything, I bet. Yeah, Melee's responsiveness was probably peak awesome in Smash, to be honest with you. Brawl was okay. It was a little sluggish, but it was okay. Ouch. Um, I never played much of Smash 4. I played the demo of Smash for 3DS. I played a lot of OG Smash on 64. I mean, that was a, you know, a, a frame rate nightmare, but it was fun regardless. Um, but Ultimate feels pretty good too. Online, I don't give a shit about. <laughs> I really don't care about online play for any of it. Really. Because I'm not going to be playing online with it. So if it sucks, I mean, that doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> but I can I can definitely tell that, yeah, Nintendo's online is subpar at best. Like, I don't- I don't even get it. Like, why are they so bad at online? It's not like it's a- it's a new field in the gaming space, you know? Like, people have been doing online for many years. How are they- how is Nintendo in particular so shitty with it? I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, we've got ourselves an Argus fight with conveyor belts and spikes. Awesome. Good thing we got tempers to make this nice and easy. Ah. Ah. Oh, whoa. All right. <laughs> Realize he was restricted to the top half of the screen here. Weird. All right, suck shit, Argus. Get a compass for our trouble. Did we get one of the items already? 
feel like we must have, because I've only got the big chest left. Or no, no, I forgot to... I didn't get the chest in the front of this one here. So this will probably be one of them. And then the big chest will be the other one. Bom. Excuse me, oh, it's a lot of big spikes. Ten arrows! Two tarantula town. And you know what? While we're up here, we've got all the pendants, so why don't we why don't we just go blind to pull the fucking pedestal and see what we get out of it, you know? Watch, it's gonna be like ten arrows or some bullshit. Some bullshit we don't need. But if it was like, say, the flippers or whatever, that'd be pretty awesome. Alright, let's go. Come on. Ah, it's the mushroom! It's a fetch quest! Boo! Oh boy. This could be real bad, I think. Oh, there we go. Soul Calibur 6, the online rankings are downloaded to your local files. It's a blockchain. What? Why would you put rankings on a blockchain? Like, blockchain is so terrible for so many things. You know, a lot of people tout it as, like, the be-all, end-all of some bullshit. But why would you... Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a very unusual design choice. I don't know, man. Like, I get that online shit is really hard. It's really hard to do. But, like, come on. <laughs> Just like, come on. Oh, boy. Also, I didn't realize they were up to Soul Calibur 6 already. The last one I remember playing was Soul Calibur 2 for the GameCube. That shows my age a touch. Piece of candy for that. Alright, so Skull Woods was fucking worthless. Unless the mushroom turns into something that we need to turn in for, you know? Alright. So let's go check that right away. Like, did we make the good play by going to Skull Woods? Let's go find out immediately. Super speed off of this? I think I can. Yeah, nice. Alright, well, was this also a pedestal seed? It wasn't. It was a big 20. Fuck. Well, whatever, it's fine. We were in the area, anyways. It's not really that big of a time waste. Okay, uh, looks like Meyer and or Pod. Missing Samaria and the flippers now. Looks like Ether. Oh no, Bombos. Alright, so Bombos was required. Uh, it's a 5 6 I believe. Ten arrows! Oh boy. The nets! Safety item. But it's something. Catch ourselves some visited fairies. And bees, if we so choose. Which we do not. Oh, we don't have flippers yet. <laughs> That's right. Oh boy. Hmm. There's not a whole lot of places these things can be now. Like, we can get into Mire and we can get into Pod, but, like, everything else is locked out. Candy that we don't care about. Mmm. Well, okay, I guess we go into Meyer and see what's up. Only two items here. Kinda sucks, but if this is like the bow or something. Oh, that's right, we need the bow as well. The bow, the flippers, and Samaria. So if this is the bow, this is great, because then we can go uh, just polish off pot. 
and also then we have the silver, so we can murder pretty much everything in our path. If this is the flippers, that's good, because then we can get into ice and swamp. And if Samaria's in here, well, we can finish off Meyer right away. So, we've, it's a lot of possibilities. A lot of possibilities going on here. Ouch. Oop. Bonk. Some buddies over yesterday while you're watching the stream. Okay, that's cool. And so you explain how the curse mechanic and shit work. They were biting your nails harder than you were. <laughs> that's hilarious. I love it. What was he thinking? Oh, come on, man. Don't be a hater. Your friends are jerks. <laughs> nah, man. You see curse stuff, you gotta go for it. Like, no balls, no glory. You gotta do it. There's no choice. No choice, man. Like, you gotta understand. You gotta go for it. He's for days. I think, um... We're, we're gonna have Dead Cells go for another week. And I think for this week, we're gonna play a little bit more conservatively. Um... Because we've got some more shit to unlock, and I would like to at least rack up one more boss cell. Just one more, and I'll call it good. So, we'll probably still take, like, every early curse we can. Just because, you know, it's, I'm probably, you know, 60-40 on clearing those. But for later curses, we'll definitely, definitely think about it before we just go balls in, you know? <clears throat> Ouch. Hi. Steal my arrows, piece of shit. <clears throat> yeah, see that's the that's the temptation of the late game curses though. Like they could give you some real good shit. At the very least, the cursed chests, I believe, always give you a, a level up scroll, so it's like... You know, that's almost worth it right there. So you can get super beef, but... If it doesn't give you, like, a, a top-class weapon on top of it, it's just like, well, shit. Alright, so that was what? That was a piece of candy, right? Where the hell's the... Oh, the button's on one of these things. Fuck. <laughs> Damn you, Pot Shuffle. Conditioning me to fucking go right for the default ones right away. It's not there. How about you? Not there. Gotta be this one, then? Or are there more up there? Hey, there it is. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Another piece of candy. All right. Well, there's that's the two items in Meyer. Can't go any further without Samaria, so I guess we're off to Pod.
Hmm, so without the bow, we can't get into the back third of pod. That locks us out of the boss, which is potentially only one item, so we're all but guaranteed four out of the five here. Assuming we're not bow blocked by other things like red igors or red mimics or something. Which is normally a cause for concern in vanilla non-enemy rando. For right side. Eh. Oof, it's first first sighting of spike rollers though. Interesting. It's a small key. Oh, big ass spike roller there. Jeez, excuse me. You know what? Just for grins, what do we got? Hookshot is in the sage's closet. Thanks, we already got that. I think that was uh, Sashashashrula was holding on to that one too. Okay, good. We're not locked out on right side here. Another small key. Let me guess. Another small key. Of course. Of fucking course. Hmm, I don't have the bow for this now, so... I think we can huck a bomb over there, maybe? Let's see if we can. Yeah, nice. Alright. Ah, perfect. Except... Except... <laughs> now we've gotta try to fucking... Damn it. Alright. Screw that guy! <laughs> Oh no, we're out of magic now because he stole it all from us. What a piece of shit. Dang it. Uh oh, I hear a sp <sighs> How am I gonna get through this? Oh, damage boost! Oh no! Fuck! Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, uh, oh wait, what is that gonna do? Fat lot of fucking nothing. Well, either I die or... We warp out. <laughs> Damn it. All right, fine. Whatever. It's fine. Just don't worry. Oh, don't worry about it. Get a couple of those fucking anti fairies so I can de-boost through all these things. Shit. If only I'd realized I had that green potion sooner. Oh well. Well, there's another small key. All right, you piece of shit. Come on. over there. No! Excuse me, why'd you bop me diagonally, you piece of shit? Oh, come on! All right. How the hell did I get through the first one? Do I have any, like, I don't have the cape or anything to get through these fucks? There, okay. Just don't fuck it up on the second one. All right, all right, good, we're through. Fucking Garbo. Ugh. They give me plenty of these fuckers, though. Hey, there's the D. Fuck yeah. Excellent. All right, now we can finish off. Pod here. Just a piece of candy. Big ass key. All right, things are looking up a little bit. So now we're gonna have to find Samaria or Flippers here as well. Half magic is pretty good. There we go. 
less good. This, all right, so we're gonna find a small key in Harmless Hellway. And then, wait, I'm still missing an item. Did I not count one? Oh, right, the one uh, dead center. Shit, I might have to go back for that one. Uh, this may or may not be a key exchange, then? Okay, key exchange there. Ouch. Got the two in the center. Oh, shit, why did I drop down? Uh. <clears throat> well, actually, now I'm gonna know if this is a flippers. Okay, so we don't have to do the one up top. That'll be another key exchange. There's flippers. That's ice and swamp and a few other overworld things. missing Samaria, so as soon as we find that badass motherfucker, we will be in go mode. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that worked out. Now we are equipped such that... <clears throat> Every boss is now murderable for serious this time. Cold Stare, easy peasy. Trinax, never heard of him. Anybody else gonna take a fucking silver arrow to the knee and stop adventuring permanently? So the ideal situation here is that we get Samaria off of whatever this boss is, and then we are golden to do go mode on the final four dungeons. That's the ideal. Uh, likelihood of that happening? Pretty fucking slim. Oh, dang it. <laughs> right? Silver's pretty valuable, isn't it? Like, he could have made a fucking buttload of the gosh dang Silver Arrow. Ow. Oh, Alright, what do we got here? What are we fighting? Ah, it's Armos! Alright, come on guys! Let's go! <laughs> It's not like I don't have silver arrows or anything. Oops, I kind of fucked up the setup. That's alright. Ah, oh, damn. Good for another refill? Nice. Okay, it's crystal number three to buck 48. Ugh. So, it gives us ice and swamp and hobo and Lake Hylia Islands and Waterfall of Wishing. Uh, let's do ice first. You know, I'm not really a big fan of that dungeon. But it's pretty much the... the one thing that's on the way to everything else, so... Well, we'll do it, you know? Plus, it's really not that hard. Especially since we've got hookshot, we know how to do the bomb jump, the, the important bomb jump, we don't even need Samaria. We can just kind of get it over with. And with half magic on our person. Uh, what's the hint block on? Magic cape is in Turtle Rock. Okay, well, that's good to know. We don't care necessarily, but that's good to know. 
I suppose. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little a little cautious. We'll get some backup. A little backup fairy, you know. Helpful. Just in case we don't pay attention to our health. And I take a, a dumb down somewhere. Tektites on ice. All right, uh, flip, flip. Give me that key, you piece of shit. Kind of you to carry it all this way for me, but I really need it now, thanks. Alright, first try bomb jump, real nice. Oh good, a Lionel. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Get out of here. The fuck out of my face. You're looking a little blue there. Cheer up. Another <laughs> backup fairy. Okay. No, oh, come back. Get back here. Thank you, piece of shit. Oh, and we've even got the key so we can do the alternate route here. Excellent. means we'll be doing a lot more bomb jumps, I guess. That's fine. Wait, wasn't that supposed to be a, a small key? Oh. Oh, I didn't realize they shuffled that one, too. Interesting. I guess that was technically a pot drop, wasn't it? Huh. 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 <laughs> Learning all sorts of new things tonight. Big key, okay. Whoa, what was that weird fucking glitch out sprite there? It looked like there was a mushroom there for some reason. Now, if I recall correctly. Big old funny. I have to go down here? No, because this just, I think this just takes me out to the, the hookshot thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Ooh, that's a weird. What the hell is going on there? Oh. Huh. Okay. Alright, that's right. So we don't go downstairs here. We need to go, go do the bomb jumps on the other side and then go down the stairs. Which, I should have enough light to pull this off. Ow. Okay. And if I don't, I've got plenty- Just get out of the way, piece of garbage. Got plenty of fairies to make up for the rest. Ba -da -da -da. So, I'll jump across there. Go down here. Get actually in the door, please. Thank you. Go 
down these stairs, there'll be a chest down here that I would normally have had to go all the way the fuck around for. It's only good for a small key. God damn it. Alright, well that was kind of worthless. Now, we need to do the bomb jump back. And then we'll be good. And we only made one circuit. It's super good and efficient. Actually, it doesn't matter. I could have just fallen down there without doing the bomb jump. Derp. <laughs> Should derp a derp. Good for a big 20. Yay! 20, do 20 more dollars. All right, and then I think we've got both the compass and the the burrito, so... All right, yep. So the boss will then have the final item. Get fucking... Excuse me, sir. Jesus. We need to waste a backup pair if we don't have to. Here. There we go. What are we fighting? Oh, Wormulon! A one-eyed Wormulon. Giggity. <laughs> That's weird, because normally the other ones we've seen have had seven eyeballs on them. <laughs> hey, Samaria! Fuck yeah! Go mode achieved! I think. Yes. So we can go mode swamp. Finish up Meyer, go mode T-Rock, and then it's up to the big palace. Up to the big G tower. Fucking excellent. Oh, and that was crystal four. Whoop. Man, how confusing would it be to have seven eyeballs? Like, how would you even res- oops. I guess we'll just do Meyer first, then that's fine. Like, how would you resolve seven sources of vision? Like, stereoscopic vision is enough on its own, right? It's confusing as heck. But seven eyeballs. My goodness. That's a lot of data to parse. Oh, fucking really? Dumbass fire bar? Get out of here. Almost did it again. Piece of shit. I was about to say, if he got away from me that time, I'd be very, very unhappy. So there's a, there's still a decent chance we might be able to get Butter Sword. There's a chance. Not a great chance necessarily, but a chance. This G Tower still has 21 sh fucking items in it. I don't have the big, I don't have the big key? Oh, it's gotta be this one then. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, I fucked that up. <clears throat> Butter Sword would be real nice, as would Red Mail. Like, I would really like some better defense before we face off against Ganon, but... At least we've got Blue Mail. That's right, we didn't get the big key, we got both, uh... Both the other items in the small chests is very fortunate for us. Oh, and we also need another small key from somewhere. Um, 
Or maybe not. No, we don't. We don't. I just need to go across the level to get fuck through here. Get. Just fucking get. Stupid turtle. It's an interesting route. Usually I have keys to spare. Not this time. Oh, nice. You just park your ass over the doorway. Thanks. Butthole. Thanks. What? Son of a... Goddamn fireballs. Alright. Good. Good, 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 good. So, with Tempered and Silvers, no Spin Strats Ganon, no Silverless Ganon. Hell fucking yeah. Not dealing with either of those bullshit things. Come on. Let's <laughs> get out of here. Stare. Well, how nice of him. So that takes Cold Stare out of the pool entirely. So we've seen doubles of him. Oh, it's still a, a damage floor up here because of the normal Vitreous room. Interesting. I did not realize that was a thing. Oh! Well, good thing we got backup fairies. <laughs> wow. Cold Stare still hits like a fucking truck. Bastard. Alright, still got one left though, so that's good. There's Crystal 5. Whoop. Onward to Swamp, and then T-Rock, and then go cook us a pig. Igor hiding under that fucking bush? Serious? Like, come on. That's not physically possible. That's a small bush, and that fucking Igor is huge! How'd he get under there? Go mode swamp is actually kind of fun. You just skip over pretty much everything. Don't have to deal with the left hand side, you can just go straight for the back. Come on. 
map. Know a key location. Although we might have a bit of a bit of an adventure trying to find this next key. Well, after this one, I suppose. That. Oh, <laughs> it's probably under this one then. Eh? <laughs> Good old pot shuffle. Ooh, we get our uh, backup fairy back here. Probably a good idea, knowing how well I play. Hmm, maybe I should have checked those other two before I left that room. Well, I guess we'll find out. Just need to find a key and then we out. Up there. Eh? Eh? <laughs> of course it's in <laughs> the room I didn't check. The room I just thought I probably should have checked before I left. Go figure. Second time that's happened now. Or it could be across the way too. All right, good. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot about those two across the way. That would have been something. If it was right up there. Get over there like that? No. Hmm. I wonder if that's always up there too. It's only got two possible locations it can be. Excuse me, sirs. This one on the way through since we're literally like two tiles from it. Ah, nothing but a bullshit ass compass. Of course. Open Swamp Palace here. Oh, there's our first Trinex sighting. Okay. Oh, that is not the blue side. Come on. <laughs> it's hard to tell when the colors are offset. Heart container. Sand cart, perhaps? Nope. Crystal six in the bag just a few minutes after crystal five. Okay. Up to T-Rock we go.
Go Mode T-Rock is fun too, although a bit less straightforward than Go Mode Swamp. Since there's a chance you have to go for the center chest, and sometimes you don't have to, and I don't know. Still a bit more... Oh, we got some default-ass dead rocks up here, huh? Little shits. Stayed in logic, I didn't bother doing fake flippering for that bullshit. And it's a good thing I didn't. Because it wouldn't have gotten us anything of extreme value. Maybe it was the shovel or the cane of Brian or something. Or possibly the butter sword. Or the fourth sword, rather. <clears throat> but a bit of a time save since we didn't have to do that one. Those at all, rather. Card is held by someone friendly. Gee, thanks. What the hell would that even mean? Oh, probably uh, old Stumpy or uh, Sick Kid or something. And we got a chain shop out in the middle of the path. That's unfortunate. So I guess we will take this way around then. Ah, sucker. Did I get that one? Nope. 50 50, another I get that first hook shot. Just yet, though. Oh, wait, this is probably not going to be a pokey. Getting out the fire rod isn't going to do much for me. Ow. It's always nice when these aren't chain shots. <laughs> the dick about with that shit. Oh, I think we might be good without going to the center. Got a one small key count going down here. Although we don't have the big key yet, so we should probably still check it out. That's gonna be the issue here. So big key is likely to be vanilla. Yeah, it's gonna have to be vanilla. So, we're gonna have to grab this other small key anyways. Go to the center, because this is gonna be the big key. And I hope we're not gonna have to go outside and all that bullshit. I'm gonna play the odds. Let's play the odds and hope that there's going to be another small key on Laser Bridge or something. And if that doesn't turn out to be the case, you just backtrack a bit, whatever. This is a one versus five shot.
Hmm, that guy's looking rather nice with his green shoulder pads. We'll check this one since it's on our way. It's the burrito. Oh, this, this one, this room's always interesting with Pot Shuffle, too, because you never know. The button's gonna be vanilla. Oh, good, a fucking spike roller here. Great. Take at least one dumb bullshit hit. Mm. Uh, ah, there it is. Good. Good. Good, good. Need one more small key and we're golden. Ow! Nice. Let's take a laser right in the face hole. Hey, look at that! First fucking chest on Laser Bridge. Hell yeah. RNG smiles upon us. T-Rock Big Bad today. Is it going to be another Trinex? We could deal with another Trinex. Oh, it's another Helmsaur. So he is now out of the pool entirely as well. Along with Cold Stare. No chance of seeing Helmsaur or Cold Stare in any of the refights. Easy peasy. <laughs> For a big 20. Woo! Alright, there's crystal 7. Boy, we had a nice stretch for those last four crystals all in about 20 minutes. Some pretty good work. Helps when you do the last three dungeons in go mode. Alright, on to G-Tower. 1 through 22, where are we finding that big key tonight? Where's it gonna be? <laughs> First one, huh? Oh boy. Wouldn't that be a cap to the evening? That would be just super awesome. I don't think RNG's gonna be that kind, though. I'll say number 10. I'll go for number 10. Like, I don't want it to be too dickish, but I know it's not going to be super friendly either. So let's go right side first, because I've been burned by not doing right side first. Okay, here comes number one. Ah, it's a single ass rupee, boo. Number two, small ass key. Okay. Better luck next time. <laughs> Number three on the torch is another fairy in a bottle. Okay. We'll take that. It's on the way, you know? What the hell? There is normally a key in under one of these. Where the fuck is it? Oh, maybe it's in the next room. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Let's see if it's under this thing. What's that? Ooh, how strange. All right, four through seven. Four, the big key. I guess since we're in here, let's check them all out. Another small key, why not? Piece of candy and butter sword. Damn. All right, number four is not bad. That is pretty fucking kind. Very kind of RNG, my goodness, what is going on? Uh, 
Oh, that's right. This is not necessarily going to be red mimics. Although, can we kill get those with silvers? Sure as fuck can. Shit. You know what? I keep these silvers out just in case we run into more of them. Yeah. There we go. All right, this is looking good. If we play our cards right, this is a sub 230, which would be certainly not bad for an enemy rando. Full boss shuffle. Oops, excuse me. I think we'll be easy sub 230, honestly. Once we're on our way through the gauntlet right now, plus we got silvers and tempered. Ganon fight should be a pretty soft touch. Oh, sir. Excuse me. Ah, bastard. Guess it'll depend on what the refights are a little bit. Ah, what a shit. Jumped out of the way. fight here. What do we got? What do we got? It is so oh, vanilla landmo, huh? God, I duffed up the fucking silver. <sighs> Shit. A clean two cycle, though. Despite the fuck up. Alright, vanilla landmo refight. right in the middle. Alright, it's looking pretty slim for butter this time around. That was an interesting route I took for that. <laughs> Let's look at this one just because. Ah, another small key. Perfect. Alright. What's the last refight here? Mafula! Interesting. Okay. Be a pretty simple fight with no fucking conveyor belts or spikes to deal with. Easy. All right, validation chest, last chance. <gasps> Big ol' 20. <laughs> Rip the butter dream. Jerk Wizard the second by 224.30. Let's go. Let's hit some angles. That's some bad angles. That's, that's real bad. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, come on, fucko. There. At least get one of them. 
Oh, it stopped him before he did his own thing. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. No! Fuck. This is terrible. Oh, almost got a double. Fucked it up. Ah! Bastard. Oi, this is... This is ugly. This is real ugly. Ah, there's a double. Alright. He shows that five, six cycles? Ugh. Well, whatever. Yeah, assuming I don't totally fuck up the Ganon fight, we're looking at an easy sub-230. Let's get right up in there. We've got three backup fairies now, so we should be good on health. Plus half magic, full half magic. Yeah, we're good. 16 silvers. We're 100% good to go here. Yeah, 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 whatever. Realize uh, you are an entomologist here, Ganon. Phase two at the very least. Yep. Oh, wow. Still, oh, I guess I only had six, and those do three at a crack. Okay, whatever. Oh, to phase three. Totally worth it. Coward. You fucking coward, come on. Hey, piece of shit. Stop. Stop it. There. Little bastard. For uh, an early freeze? Uh, nope, not quite. Oh, uh oh. Uh, we're gonna go for. Oh, I fucked up torch glitch, I think? Yeah, sure did. Oh, and then I got toasted. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. Well, there's uh, backup fairy number two, I think. Yeah, it's alright. Still get a fucking silver hit on him? No, of course not. Oh, silly would that have been. There we go. Oh, wow. Angles, please. There's a good double. Make up for the bullshit I had before. Alright, we did it. 228 something. 228 something. Twenty-eight, fourteen. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. <laughs> All right, prepare to fast forward. Let's check out some stats, and then we're gonna be done for tonight. I am not up for a second seat tonight. Just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. Let's see all the fancy sprite garbage that's gonna happen with the enemy rando now. <laughs> oh boy. Well, all right. Jeez, this is always very amusing. Well, at least the goose got uh, got its normal thing. Spike rollers. Got flappy ding dongs there, I guess. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> eyeballs chasing around another eyeball. Our uncle was a thief and then a set of polygons. Okay. Why Zora is just normal? That's that seems weird. He escapes from bullshit. <laughs> we got bats stirring in some rats, I guess. I don't even know what the fuck those are. Whoa, jeez, excuse me. <laughs> eh, fairies are normal. Some gels working on a loaf of bread. Whoa, man, woof. 
Oh man, we got a lot of got some dancing parallelograms. I think those were supposed to be chickens. We got some skulls going on. Oi. And uh, uh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, jeez. All right, the thief's okay. Got some flying dead rocks. An illegal drug sleeps again for. That's right. That is the mushroom on uh, pedestal, wasn't it? Hilarious. Weird sparkly something there. <laughs> ha 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 ha. All right. Oh, well, two twenty eight fourteen. Ooh, excuse me. All right. I can I can be down with that. I can be down with that. stats look like. I don't think we took... I'm going to say two deaths. At least one to the Vitreous and Tower of Hera real early on. I might have taken a second one at some point. I don't remember. It's like an hour and a half ago. You can't expect me to remember that. Oh, entrance rando would be interesting to try, but I have a feeling I'd get so fucking lost. be like a five-hour seed. <laughs> It'd be a five-hour seed for me, because I'm not good at this. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got. The important stuff. The important stuff, please. We found... Yeah, first sword was pretty late. 36 minutes. Boots was fucking dumb. Flute, of course. Ega one locked. Early mirror, which is nice. Didn't have to do a whole heck of a lot swordless, but we had a hammer, so that's good. GT big key at four. Awesome. Three deaths? Really? <laughs> About an average collection rate, I'd say, and then in time, not bad. Not bad, not bad, at all. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CST. Will be on Assault Android Cactus Infinity Drives. Got to finish up with Shiitake. I had hoped to leave that behind in 2018, but nope, couldn't quite do it. Um, so we're just gonna keep at it until we do it. Got to keep at it, keep grinding it out, keep practicing. What the hell's up with the four on the bottom there? Weird. Weird. <laughs> like a butter sword disqualified the run. That's not true. We got the validation arrow and we opened the validation chest. So it was a perfectly valid run. All right. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.